free one, so I had seen a lot of people doing different videos about their role during the Disney College program, and I thought that I would do one too, because I had a very unique role during my second college program. So when I officially got that letter saying that I'd been accepted, uh, it said that I had been accepted for an operations role, which I was very excited about because it was my top choice. And I really just wanted to push buttons and make people go on rides, so I was very excited. Um, and then about a month later, I logged onto my uh, onboarding central site because I needed to upload some documents and then on the, the top corner it'll say merchandise if you're in merchandise, food and beverage, whatever. But mine, instead of saying operations, it now said trails operations. And I didn't know what that meant, so I googled, you know, Walt Disney World trails and the only thing that really came up were two trails in the Animal Kingdom, which were the Pangani Forest Trail and then the Maharaja Jungle Trek. And I started freaking out a little bit because I literally knew nothing about animals. I had a fish once and it died on the way home from the pet store. So I wasn't really qualified to work at Animal Kingdom in the animals department. So I was a little nervous. I thought, you know, maybe it was a mistake. You never know. So fast forward, I arrive at Disney. I do my traditions class, which was great. I did my operations class, whatever, which everyone does, which was also great. And then I went to the Welcome to Attractions class because that's where I assumed I was supposed to be. Um, but my name wasn't on the list, so I started freaking out because I thought maybe there'd been a mistake, like maybe I wasn't supposed to be here at all. But they said, don't worry, you're actually supposed to go to the Welcome to Animal Sciences and Environment class. So I was like, okay, never done this before, but sure. Um, so I get to the class and I'm the only student there's two instructors and me, which was kind of scary. Uh, and the guy starts out by saying, hey, Victoria, like, did you study zoology in school, environmental science? I was like, ah, film, um, saw Bambi once, it was great, it actually was really sad. Um, he said, don't worry about it, it happens all the time, we'll teach you everything you need to know about animals. I was like, okay, great. So they taught me all about, you know, animal safety, animal protocols, and I'm furiously trying to write this all down. Um, but it was a great class, you know, I really appreciated the one-on-one -on -one time. I got to ask a lot of questions because I was the only one there. And then I get my costume in my Animal Kingdom orientation, and it was a really great costume. It was just like green shorts and a green top, and so it wasn't too warm, which was very important because Animal Kingdom is very hot. Uh, but yeah, I get to my first day of training and it turns out that I'm in the Pangani Forest Trail in Africa. Um, usually the, the American College Program students can do both trails, the Asian Trail and the African Trail. But since I was Canadian, I was only there for three months, I really only had time to learn one trail. So I was in Africa and it was very daunting because the African Trail had colobus monkeys, we had okapi, dikers, small animals like uh, naked mole rats, we had 27 different species of birds which I had to recognize by sight and they all pooped on me, uh, which was fine, it was good luck, whatever. Um, hippos, we had hippos, uh, meerkats which are ruthless, uh, zebras, and of course the gorillas which were the, the main attraction. So my training manual was literally like this thick, I had to know where all of these animals came from, what their diets were in case anyone asked. It was very stressful, but it was an amazing experience. I learned so much about animals, and now I have a greater appreciation for them. So basically, the role entailed that I would stand there next to an animal, and people would come up and ask me questions. I'd have different props they could um, interact with. So, really great experience, all in all. Uh, I think, at first I thought it was a mistake that I was hired in this role because I had no prior experience in animals. Uh, but I said I worked in a museum during my interviews, which I think that might have had something to do with it because I, you know, like public, public speaking and explaining things to people. Um, one of the great things about this role is that you also get to participate in the Wilderness Explorer program. So you have the badges and you get to give the badges to the kids in their Wilderness Explorers book. It's a lot of fun. Um, we have four badges on our trail. And the first badge that we have on our trail is the ham radio badge, which is where the kids listen to an old-fashioned radio and they have to write down secret codes. <laughs> but the little symbol of the badge was like radio waves. And I swear to you, every single kid that came to our trail was like, oh my god, the Wi-Fi badge, this is going to be so easy. It's like jokes on you, children. I wouldn't say that I didn't like animals before this role, 
but I now have a very greater appreciation for them, as well as conservation, which was a very important part of the role, is really promoting conservation, recycling, reusing. Um, so now I'll go up to people I don't know, next to a garbage can, and be like, are you gonna recycle that? Seriously, recycle your cell phones, save the gorillas. Um, and I just like had such a great bond with all the animals, which might sound silly, but you're with them every day. They begin to recognize you. They begin to recognize your voice, which is really cool. Um, and they're my babies, and I miss them so much. We had two gorgeous gorilla babies when I was there. They're so adorable. I'm really upset that I'm missing them growing up right now, but I know I'll be back, and they'll be big, strong male gorillas. Um, yeah, so I definitely had the time of my life as a trails operator. If you are interested in being one, I'd definitely uh, recommend mentioning it to you in your interview for the Disney College program. If you have any previous zoo experience or if you're really passionate about the environment, that's something I'd mention as well. This might put you in the right direction for trails operation. I had the time of my life and I know you would too.